Oh, hello, 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 fans, fans, followers. Thank you for stopping by, stepping in, sticking around. This is Daddy D Man 81 on YouTube. I am coming to you today from StarCraft. I keep mentioning StarCraft in different uh, discussions and on my Discord and whatnot. And if anybody's wondering what StarCraft is, it is a retro game uh, back in the 90s or early 2000s. I played growing up as a teenager. It is strategy based, real time strategy, so there's no turns. Uh, you quickly build up your forces. You start from nothing. All, all players start from nothing. And you build up your forces, and then you, you go to town on your enemies. And you can have anywhere from two enemies or one enemy, so you and just one player, 1v1. Or it could be uh, eight players. Uh, you could do four on four teams. You could do two versus two versus two versus two teams. You can set up the map in so many different ways. The replayability is unlimited. There are three campaigns. I have not done any campaigns. Um, in the past, I've played a few campaigns and never got very far on them. But uh, you have to actually start with the Protoss campaign first. Terran are like the humans. And Protoss are like the advanced alien species. And Zerg are like the uh, innumerable... Uh, constantly growing themselves, uh, non-technologically advanced. Think, um, think the Starship Troopers, uh, alien species, that, the bugs, they're kind of like bugs. It's hard to explain. So, here we go. We are Zerg, and, uh, you're literally having to speed as fast as you can. So I would try to talk as much as I can. You have to build up your resources. If it's loud, I apologize. Uh, I tried to turn down the buffer on it. Hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. It's just loud for me. So I'm going to attempt to accomplish the Zerg rush. So in this game, this is early strategy games from the 90s. There's only two resources to manage versus other games I've played that you guys have seen me play. You manage anywhere from six to like 100 different resources, give or take. So in this, it's just crystal and gas. Mostly everything requires crystal. You see the 52. I have 52 crystal. Zero gas. I have to put a gas extractor there. But I won't need that for any time soon. Eventually, you have to manage your population capacity. Right now, I can only manage nine. Each one of these is one. So I have eight of them right now. And that's my ninth. So I'm not going to be able to build any more until I can build an Overlord. Overlord adds capacity. And I'm going to be fighting the Terran, the humans. They have some pretty cool technologies. Their most lethal would be the Ghost launching nuclear or the battle cruiser. The overloads do float and eventually they can get faster and they increase their sight range. But they are also most important because they are transports. They suck up units from the ground and carry them when they're, uh, I guess, carry sacks below them. You can imagine that for whatever it is. And as I was saying, Zerg grow. So all they do is grow. Actually, I don't want that. Yeah, I did. I didn't want that. I probably already screwed up. <clears throat> so the idea is you constantly keep on 
the drones on supply for this the crystals and then you, in, when you want something to build you grab one and pull them oh as you notice there's no drone left after this the, dr the drone literally grew into the creep colony that you see um, everything is grown all the troops are grown they come out of these little sacks you can see all the troops possibilities here and then all the buildings are grown from these guys they plant a little things it has to be on this creep so this creep this purple stuff that's growing comes from the hatcheries which turn into layers which turn into queen's hives no queen's yeah queen's hives i think i could have that wrong These are nothing except for they help the creep grow. And once this is built, as you noticed, I have unlocked the sunken colony. These are the land attack um, defenses. And I need Vaspian gas for that. Evolution chamber. Of course, it needs gas for that. It needs gas for that. And gas for that. Gas for everything. Everything but the basics. Let's keep the Zerg wings. I've already screwed up the Zerg rush. This particular map, I'm in space. So you get the platform that I'm on, and then you got this open space that only air can cross. So now I'm collecting Vaspine gas plus the, the crystals. Eventually these crystals will run out. The Vaspine gas will also run out. Once it's depleted, it'll only bring in one per unit. Right now I think they're each carrying... It's hard to know how much they're carrying, but if you watch this, it's growing three to five at a time, I think. So it definitely makes a huge difference once it's uh, set back. Oh, 80. So 80. 96 so I think it's six to eight the group they're bringing in per per unit Need another overlord I've already reached my capacity of the second one the problem with using overlords as transports as well as your scouts is uh, they, if they get killed, you have to manage that and grow more. Let's go ahead and figure out what they have. Of course. Here we go. Those bunkers will screw you up unless you have something that can, can resist their firepower. And these firebots will screw me up, but I don't have a choice. So notice how quickly it torched right through them.
I'm gonna do something risky. Do I have burrow? No, I'm mutating a hydro layer, zerg layer. Hydra spit acid, so they're the range of the zerg, the, the front line range. So as you can see, these guys are the front line soldiers. They have to get up close and personal. They jump and attack. And I'm going to die. Yep. I've already died. I wanted to do the Zerg rush and I didn't do it. I didn't do it right. I didn't start right. And now I'm going to die. If I couldn't take that... that, Because the computer will always go for the outpost that's closest to the enemy. And that's the one that I was just at that. So if I can't get that outpost before them, I'm in trouble. But he was not going to survive without reinforcements. Here we go. This is utter failure. This is a post edit voiceover. Uh, it'll fail here shortly, but then I'll restart and I'll continue uh, from a, a new start. And I'll kind of fast forward draw that. I'll fin that off, but that's going to hurt. Actually, I won't fin it off. I thought I was at the time. It's because of those stupid medics. They're keeping them alive. It makes it harder to kill them. Nope. I'm dead. Yep. As I fast forward, I'll fast forward through the rest. I've already got a nuke strike coming. And when it restarts... Well, we're going to try that again. A lot of the audio will be out Okay, Zerg Rush. That's all I'm doing, Zerg Rush. Zerg Rush mentality. I try to keep I recall, it lined up. With the Zerg Rush, the you get six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this next one goes for a spawning pool. Or not. Does he or does he not? He will, but he's going to wait. Need 200. Yeah. And I'm not doing any more drones, so I get the spawning, spawning pool started. And get to work. Get them. <laughs> Let's see what they're doing. That's the command center. Ah! Run! And I'm slow, too. I didn't know they'd have Marines already. Yep, we know that. Blazing Don't fast. wait. Get over there. Uh, I have it at yeah. 4 XP see how risky that was. few each minutes. Each Zerg sec, so I realized each rush Zerg egg failed. hatches two Zerglings, not one. Put a rally point in the middle. Of course. Let them unload the crystal first. Try to cut off their resources. I've got more reinforcements coming. Cut off their resources. You slow them down. I got a bunker over here. That's why. Got to get that bunker killed. No, the barracks. So that's cre that's creating the army units. Terran barracks, not bunker. Yeah. Bunker is the defensive structure. Destroy it! With your last dying breath, destroy that barracks! Damn it! I need another. You only get three at a time. Once three are used, these three eggs are planted... It'll spawn one more here in a moment. It'll spawn one more larva. Not sure what he was for, but he's got to go get some gas. The initial voiceover is probably going to suck. I'm going to get game. up here and they're already going to be fortified. 
already going to be fortified. But there were so many See, the gaps. barracks has already repaired itself. Between I didn't realize, speaking. I just noticed now, seeing them, that there's another resource pile over here, not to just the one in the middle. Somewhat now I got together. Up to six larva. Yeah. Speed. Yeah. Come on. I don't think I'm going to be able to do much more damage to the base with just these zerglings. So now it's time to start piling up a defensive position. I couldn't rush them fast enough to do more damage, but I did cripple them a little yeah, bit. In the moment I slow down so to 2x. hopefully that sets them back enough that I can get a good base div built. This and then kind of the same position Actually, I was... both of these should go rally to here. Once I can burrow a secret uh, trick for the Zerglings, or any Zerg creature except for the Ultralisk, which is a giant bull creature, Probably won't see that in this game. I don't think you will push it that Stick far. Around, all the all other the Zerg units, creatures the... can burrow underground, which makes them hiding. That's their cloaking ability. Burrow, Except burrow. for the Defiler. So I, I can see what's the there. Defiler. They can't see me unless they have anti-cloaking technology. So those troops will come up in a surprise fashion underneath them as they pass over. Not automatically. I have to tell them to, but that's the idea. Oh, I don't have a... I'm behind. I went all out for that Zerg rush. But... I think I'll survive this one. This game's hard. It's fun, but it's hard. Come on! It's oh, a challenge. Okay. Spore yet? I need a spore colony! What's a spore colony, you all ask? Spore colony is the anti-air. Oh, I need the evolution chamber first. I should have known that. I know you need more minerals. Keep working on them. Here we go. Ready? Boom! Boom! <laughs> nope, I'm off there. Nope, you're gonna get killed. You're gonna get killed. Start killing the medics, and then you can... They can't heal each other as much. I need an evolution chamber. So I put him on patrol. Spore colony. So spore colony not only is it anti-air, a spore colony also detects anything cloaked. So even ground units that are cloaked, it'll detect them. And there will be ghost units that will come up eventually. The ghost will have um, nuclear capabilities if they have a nuclear silo. Hopefully I set them back enough that they won't have that anytime soon. I wouldn't put it past them to rush for it though. Change the rally over here because they keep going into the front lines and I don't want them to. Can't decide what I want what here, but I do want that sunken. Ah, if you might if they get attacked line, because they detect cloak, they can see you underground. If they get attacked, they'll automatically pop up and go after whoever's attacking them. Oh no. Hopefully uh, I'll get him out of the way. Lurkers! These are my favorite. Yeah, they they stay underground here in a moment. while attacking. They upgrade. They have to be evolved from the Hydralisk. Hydralisk is the one that spits. I haven't even showed you Hydralisk yet. Of course. More overlords. More you saw the Hydralisk overlords. In the it would first have been battle. nice to have six different Hydralisks. You only get one Hydralisk from each egg. Unlike the Zerg that I mentioned. Getting two. This increases their shielding or their armor. Their shells, I guess you'd call it. Well, hurry up with that. See these guys? They look like, I guess, snakes with a really fat head. I don't know. Or a lizard with a really fat head and they kind of crawl. Kind of weird. Now we can get to the advanced stuff. Or not. Queen's nest will be important. You can never have enough colonies. Zerg colonies in this game. <laughs> never have enough. Because you can't fix them. So earlier you saw I put the barracks on fire. And when I came back to attack it a second time, the barracks was repaired. The Terran repair their stuff. The Zerg heal themselves as long as they're left alone for a short amount of time. See, he's bleeding. Slowly, that's 112. It'll be 113 in a moment. One, Yep, there's 113. Or another moment, 114. It takes a while. But there's... Um, now it's 114. There's eventually um, research that will help it speed up a little bit faster. The healing process. Here we go. Those are problems. Ah! <laughs> Who out there is cruel enough to just love this wow. stream of those... Terran medics. Ah! You have to be run cruel sick man. You have to be run cruel dude yeah, to uh, that enjoy out. that. But <laughs> it's hilarious. What can I say? It's really easy to lose your colonies. These would be the sacrificial zerglings because I'm weak over here. I don't want to be caught off guard. Sacrificial zerglings. Sometimes I go quiet. Of course, I, I just sure had to I had put up the lurkings right there. Here we it go. I was going so fast. And uh, I didn't realize till after I was finished recording and the edit, I don't have the music loud enough. So there's nothing I can do about that. The next time I do StarCraft, I'll remember I need that audio to be a little bit louder. So they'll stay underground. You'll see a bunch of spikes across the ground. It's from each, each lurking launches his own spikes. And the spikes will hurt the enemy. 
And they're pretty lethal, actually. They do a pretty good Two job. Two or three should be able to take out a tank really quickly. They're kind of weak walking, and they can't do anything Correct, to fight them um, when they're not underground. So that is a weakness of theirs. But an army of them can take a few hits on undergra above ground. And once they get to their spot, ooh, these queens are fun. Yeah, I lost my chance. Let's get talk. a queen. Once you get the Lorcas to their spot and they go burrow, then that's when they are aggressive. Working on it. Of course. But they can only attack what they can <laughs> it see. It just tells me that, and I'm still trying to see, well, can you do this? Can you do this? Can you do this? <laughs> like, half the stuff I choose is more expensive than what I already tried to choose. <laughs> I'm so funny. Right. Queen? Oh, yeah. So what can these queens do? They're like these special troops. The, the terrors of Initially, the Initially, they can only drop parasites, which are the spies. So if I could drop a parasite on an enemy, I see what the enemy sees. Now look at... Oh, no. He's not sped up yet. I need those... Sacks, He's got longer called. sight range, and now he has uh, carriage sacks. But he doesn't have speed yet. You'll notice the difference in their speed. Oh, broodlings. Broodlings uh, destroy the target unit and split them into two spawnlings. So they'll look like uh, the Zerglings almost, but they're not quite the same. They look like the alien face huggers. Health -wise. And even if they're not being attacked, they only have a, a short lifespan. But it's pretty cool to uh, drop a, uh, um, a broodling on an enemy who's not suspecting. More lurkers? Not quite. I think I just keep my hydrolisks. Still need the hydrolisk for the range deck. Here in a moment, I figure out I need that. That uh, it did slow down to one x, I think now. Here in a moment, I'll start establishing this base. This game does turn out to be I'm the longest. Surprised they haven't tried to camp game. out outside my base yet. Remember, he was the one that I came way over here, and I had to come on alongside, and he was crippled. He's already healed to 200. Units heal faster than the buildings, I've noticed. I don't know if there's a rate of heal or um, at what rate they heal at. So Here we go. Look at that. Aha, look at that sucker take off. He's flying. Now he can fly. <laughs> so now I'm just trying to see how close they are to me, whether or not they're crossing over this yet. I was surprised that they haven't tried to establish. I'm surprised they're not over there yet. Yeah. With my queens, my intention was to try to get as many of the enemy units um, parasited as possible. So but I got let's spawn three more. Rally up over here. We'll already send you over here. Dang it. When burrowed, the, the enemy can't see you unless they have cloaking anti-cloaking ability like if they could see cloaking the Terran's ability patrol. is a uh, satellite you'll see it come into play here shortly if you see sparkles on the ground that's because the enemy Terran scouted you with the uh, satellite let's go scan. see whoop ah oh, he's got an anti-air So now that the queen is going to be poisoned, that's poison. There's no way to heal it. Oh, I'll mention that's dead. In a I should have kept it away. Maybe if I can, it can affect there's no way to units. heal him. I don't think he. I don't think there's a building. 
it doesn't spread, but it will affect the health of any units next to it until it's dead. So that right there is parasite detected. I now see all of this. I'll get one more on the transport. See if I can get a parasite on that transport. That will tell me when their armies are moving. Because usually the transports will go with the army as well. If they're like flying army or whatever. Which they do have some air units by now. <laughs> Eventually these medics can actually heal them. But they have to have that researched. And I don't think they have that There's yet. a special ability for cleansing is what I meant to say. Medics have a cleansing ability where they can remove any poisons and any defects and stuff like that from enemy units. So they'll take off the parasite once they realize it's there. The medics also have a blinding ability and they'll blind one of my units later in the game. Now that I got that outpost established, I start to build up my fortifications there. I think it's time for... I attempt an invasion, but I don't do it. The Spire. I don't... I don't it's not successful. My air initially. units. Oh, that's the fun part of the Zerg. Actually, no, the fun part of the Zerg is tunnels. I can make my own tunnels. Yep. Y yeah, but you need... You need creep elsewhere, and I'll mention and explain it later on. I didn't know that this game would go long distance but it might now it's a fun game stick around to the end you'll see a full invasion uh, do a time check real quick i will use a cheat but it is single player and the uh, cheats are allowed on this game if you know what they are been recording about 45 minutes give or take so hopefully this won't be too long i this expected if i could that. beat this within two hours i'm going to probably put it up as one two hour a full two hour game the video itself is about 40 minutes total. Oh no, about hour and hour and 15 total. Sorry, it's only 20 something. You will in. die for that. Actually, that is a bad idea. You will die for your insolence. They will keep healing you and healing you until you you pretty. I'm pretty much falling into a trap. But at the time I was playing, I didn't realize it. Come on! Yeah, I get frustrated with that, but. When you see two medics come into your base. Oh my god, what the heck is wrong with this? Them. And they're healing each other and then r running. Don't follow them. Here they come. Well, that kind of sucked. They actually don't come. Not quite. They come to the edge, but they don't proceed into my base. In this game, the computer can be smart, but it does do stupid things once in a while. Oh my god. <laughs> overlords. I'll mention it, but you do need an army of overlords. You literally need an army of yeah. overlords. You have to have an army of overlords, otherwise you're not going to be able to build an army. It sucks, because... Troop capacity, that, that's the one thing you need. Troop capacity, line of and sight. And the time that you need to build extra stuff and transport. All three of those support a large army. You're dead. Stupid tank, you're dead. Watch, 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 watch. I lost one. Tank will die. Damn it, I got spy satellites. Forgot about those. Son of a... Yeah, <laughs> caught myself. You just, you literally have to send everything. Zerg or May, that you cannot be portioned on any of your troops. Whatever you got, you send everybody. That's what sucks about them. It's because of the uh, number rules. It's really easy and cheap to get the troops compared to the other two races. They're cheaper and easy and faster build times, but they're easier to die. But it creates a relentless alien species, and that's the way they're supposed to be played. I often play everything too conservative i'm too conservative with all my other games that you'll notice when i play strategy i'm, I'm always i want to build up my defense and fortify myself before i can go on an attack 
With the Zerg, they're opposite. They're, you're supposed to just continually see the attack and, and build up your base. So now they're hunkering down. I saw Bunker. Bunker can hold four units. Four land units. Could be Marines, Firebots, Medics, Drones. Or they can terrorize me. I can terrorize them. Uh, ghosts. You can put Ghosts in Bunkers, too. I should have put a parasite on him instead. <laughs> nope, don't have enough yet. I haven't given enough time Come to try to full. Son of a. My problem is that the computer knows everything. It, uh, I swear to God, the computer knows everything. This gets this frustrates me because how could you see me? You're not even over there. Although I might. How do you know I have a freaking that? queen next to you and you can't even see it? The computer knows exactly what you're doing and it will counter you every time. It's because it's co it's processing but at computer again, speed. Again, this game is. It's got to have something because. <laughs> it's still fun. I don't know. It's just half the time I'm not playing right. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. And that's why you cheat. Oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm coming after you. These are the mutalisks. They hit multiple Aerial targets. Basic. They have a ricochet they can be strike. Upgraded. That's my problem. I keep talking to you guys. I can't play the game and coach you through it. But that's what I want to make sure you guys know what it is I'm looking at. Know what it is I'm I'm going to build. Didn't I build spores earlier? No. I tried to, but I didn't have the gas, just like now. It's depleted, so I'm only getting one. And I should have paid attention to which one I grab. You'll notice here in a moment. The one with the crystal is the one that was highlighted, and I didn't notice. That will play in a moment here. I know! That's another thing. I didn't anticipate the and fight. There it goes. Oh, no, no. See? Now I lost the crystal. Nope, lost it. He had a gym on him, and I, w I should have. Should have had him take the gym in first, collect the resource first. And I can't let him evolve that base. And hold on. You see me cheat. But I conclude you have to. That's how you fight All a that cheat talk about here. how awesome queens are and didn't be Jack Diddley squat. They didn't play him right yet. Don't broodling. Oh my god. I need to be using parasites instead and I can see more and then use the broodling after that. And now they got Valkyries, which is the Terran's anti air. They only fire powerful missiles at air units. And of course they did the overload. So that overload would die. I was so focused I wasn't talking for a while. But that gives me a chance to talk or post edit at least. Not gonna work. They got dragged. I don't know why in. you went there. That they got dragged in 
uh, chasing that science vessel. Science vessel is the floating ball that I know what happened. There's two here. Yeah. That stupid ball, whatever the science vessel is. You know what? <laughs> I don't care. I'm going to do it. I wanted to try to do this video without, but this is how you win the game. It's because, again, as I was going to explain, the computer processes everything so quickly and knows what you're doing so fast. When it got to be done, it's got to be done. The only you way know to what really I mean? It. Yes, I just cheated. And this game allows it. Single player only. I won't allow it um, as far as I know of. So I just racked up 10,000 with each cost of that spell. Cast, not cost. So now I got over 20,000 crystals. Which comes in handy very quickly. Getting a bunch of overloads, so those are no longer the issue. Notice I just ordered a whole bunch of overloads. And still, I don't play this assault properly like an idiot. I didn't have everything prepared in advance, and I didn't advance them all at once. This right here was a mistake, going in without seeing anything. I had no idea where the air unit was. Spores get killed easily. It's like they knew I was coming, so they got it out of the way. Ah. Who's, oh my god. I have anything organized. I had a plan. I just didn't have a plan of how to execute my plan. <laughs> Here's my mistake. When I dropped them, I wasn't paying attention. You know what? To <gasps> no, 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 no. I already had queens. I just didn't know where to grab them. I didn't. Oh, wait, yeah, I already have one. Uh, <laughs> see, I left the lurker. The lurker's not doing anything. What, 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 what? I'm losing lurkers because they're not burrowed. Finally, I burrow the lurkers. I screwed that up. Son of a <laughs> biscuit. First go in scouting. Then eliminate the big threat of the air. Then drop the lurkers, then reinforce with air. I'll do that again here in a moment. It'll make more sense. I know it's coming and I don't want it to I come. actually never did see a battle cruiser and that's what I was thinking. I was concerned a battle cruiser invasion was going to be coming soon because they're pretty well developed. But they're still far enough behind from my initial, at the beginning of this particular game, when I attempted the Zerg rush, I set them back enough. I never saw battle cruisers. I never saw the nuclear strike. So, what I got all excited about and got distracted and couldn't accomplish my mission. I will get it. Do everything research now that I've got all that resources. Get all the research out of the way. All the upgrades. I got all that money I just spent. Get all the research I can out of the way. All the upgrades, all the evolutions. Let's I don't do, do that all again. of them, I do most of them. Some of them are three tier upgrades, and I only did one or two tiers. I didn't go all the way through the max tiers. Because as you can see, there's a lot to do, so it was a lot to remember. I don't want to use a cheap power overwhelming. Nah, that would just makes it too easy. You become indestructible. You're like a god. But... 
I'll do it if I have to. I don't. <laughs> Not this time. I'm winning this game. This gets pretty easy after I take this. Full invasion here coming soon. Actually, this is just a counter strike here in a moment. So the spores are yep, they got Goliath anti air and they'll go. Those in. aren't the ones I'm really worried about. Strike the air. I want that command center. And I'll show you why here in a moment. I still didn't plan it right, but it's coming. That was a slightly better effort. I need more lurkers. If anybody noticed, a lot of my commands and, and a lot of my choices are done with the keyboard, so you don't see what I pressed unless you're actually looking at the key the moment I press it. Uh, you can see the action, but you might not realize I, you, I did that action with the key. Uh, as far as the interface with all the buildings, when you call up buildings, when you call up certain builds, all of those have a hot key to them. And eventually you learn what they are by playing the game. So that's why there's a lot of uh, quick call-ups without me using the mouse keyboard commands. See right there I pushed U for lurker. Oh, I'm going big this time. You guys are pissing me off. <laughs> yeah. With Zerg, you're supposed to be relentless, but at the same time, Zerg could be overwhelming. If That's 12 lurkers right there once they're all evolved. Yeah, overwhelming. Now I think I play this right. There we go. Instead of broodlings, now I put a parasite on that drone. You can do waypoints. So what I just did is I ordered him to put parasite on that drone. Yep. And then he got back out. So now I can see more. Poisoned me again. There's no way I can heal. Nope. Don't fight him. Pull out. Drag him in. If he'll follow you. No! Finally. I need to get that rid of I that want to tank. destroy that tank. This is where the broodlings is handy. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. <laughs> Do I do a broodling on the Goliath? That would be useful. Oh no, I'll go after the drone instead. Before he finishes it! That's the ah! drone that's parasite, I think. <laughs> that was my spy. Oh, I'm down with crystal down here. That's not good. Let's get Defiler. I don't use it. It's my other special unit. So the queen can do a couple things aerial, and then the Defiler can do a couple things from ground. Defiler can and poison an area. The only other thing are tunnels and ultralisk. I will get an Ultralisk. The Bull Rush Might is Might as well amazing. go for the Ultralisk. Full Rush. Yeah. Another thing about the Zerg with this creep 
if this creep is anywhere, um, unless you're Zerg, you cannot build anywhere this creep is. It's infecting the ground. It makes it um, to where the ground is infected. Yeah. So it's also useful to help prevent them from building somewhere until they can take care of the creep. Once all Zerg buildings are gone, the creep will slowly dissipate, but it's not gone at the same time. It takes a little bit for the creep to dissipate. But as long as there's a Zerg building there, the creep stays. And although the source of all Zerg comes from the hatchings or the uh, the center command building. I saw something moving. Those creep colonies expand. That's not thing. good. I thought I did, but I, I think my mind was playing tricks on me. Maybe, maybe not. There might have been a ghost in the area, but I think he got discovered once I put the uh, overlord. And once he's discovered the I wish they could do the lore card and kill evolve it. evolution from underground, that'd be cool. So, what is this ultralisk? A beast. You'll find out in a moment. <laughs> Giant bulls, a huge beast. Picture the Zerg as a bull. It's a meat shield. You're like, what? Because it's a meat shield, it's a distraction. A few ultralisks can distract the enemy and draw off their defenses to one side. What? Where? Where? Oh, you're not done yet. That was something else. Sounded like a bull coming out of a hatch. No. Again, the volume is too... At this point in time, they could come at me from any direction because I've got air now, so I need to get anti-air up. That's what these are. Because like me, they've got transports too. They could try to airdrop them. That is the bull. Ultralisk. Nasty thing. If I select one, I could see the hit points, but I forgot offhand what they are, but they're huge. Okay. Oh, it's Try had this again one, here in a minute. I selected all of them. I can't see what the hit points is. But they are massive meat shoes. 12, yep. At any given time in a game like this, you could be attacking from one angle. Just the now evolving and the they could be attacking you from another greater angle. spire. So don't think spire to a greater spire. And uh, that will come in handy. Don't think just I will because be able you've to evolve my air units. A powerful army attacking from one angle that they're not going to hit you from another angle. Okay, let's try this uh, invasion again. Now that I have the spore colonies up, I can counter the science vessels if they come back after the queen. No broodling. Do a parasite. Woo! Oh yeah, come at me. Come at me. Ha <laughs> ha. He's like, dang it. They're like, you're sacrificing yourself. It's because I had a parasite on that one. If you put a parasite on a unit that's able to cloak, those wraiths can cloak. As you saw that they look somewhat invisible. I was able to see them because my spore colony was detecting them. But if you put a parasite on a cloaked unit when he cloaks, you can still see the cloaked unit. So it's useful to always cloak uh, parasite units that cloak. Upgraded air units.
Throw the chance at this wave, and it's going to work this time. Go. That Marine all by himself. Watch it, watch it, watch it. He's like, <laughs> what the heck? Just I Just, yeah. So they eventually die, and they're, they're killable. It takes a while, and they can do a lot of damage in that amount of time. I hear tanks, and I should have had these guys ready to go before the bull rush, but I didn't. And I should have had that scouted, but I didn't. I was counting on the bulls being such a distraction that, um, boom, boom. Now I want the queen and I want that command center. I can infest that command center if I hopefully let it survive. Grab it, grab it. They're like, no, get it, get it, get it, get it, queen. That is mine. Stop that command center. Go, get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want me to have that. I'll show here in a moment, and I'll hint at it. But the command center infested, <laughs> the infested Terran, and they are suicidal. And they do a lot of damage. They're pretty great. Thanks. I still got lurkers over there too. <laughs> now I'm just trying to piss them off. At this point <laughs> going forward, you'll see that most of their drones. So what did I just moving. capture? I infested a command center. When I drop it, Get that tank first. Um, go, everybody. Go, 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 go. I forgot what I was saying. Guardians. Ha, ha, ha. Long range bombing. I need to but kill that only uh, against land. Those guard, kill that those thing. floating guardian things. Those things right there. Do I have any more spores? No. I do. I just didn't look in the right spot. Now I'm pushing back. I need to kill that right there. I don't have any spores. Right yeah, I do. Right there. They're suicide. That's all they do. They don't have any attack usefulness except for that. That. <laughs> Most units, it takes two to three spores for the it, it to kill the unit. Oh, I was saying earlier. Once you see most drones are just standing by doing nothing, the computer's given up. And there was a couple times where I saw a couple of drones just doing nothing. See that drone right there was doing nothing. These drones still have something to do, but there's drones that are just standing around doing nothing. The computer's given up. So that's why from here forward, pretty much the rest of this fight looked easy. A few guardians protected by land by a few uh, lurkers, unstoppable. See, moments ago, I was really frustrated that they were outsmarting me. Now I'm able to overwhelm them because I've got all the right units. More lurkers. I have one extra, but that's fine. I should have deselected the one that was the weakest and left him behind so I had the 12 of the strongest but I didn't I think I left behind one that was actually strong <laughs> a 
When you see an army of Lord Crows coming at you, you already know it's you're dead. <laughs> you already know it's over. <laughs> Just thinking you like might be happy to kill one, but like you know the rest are killing you. Yes, I had to cheat, but it got me ahead. He's outside of the twelve, so he'll come up over here. Again, I should have had Make him. Sure they can't get to that anymore. The rest of the army and then the weakest one of that twelve over here, but I didn't plan that right. I was moving too fast. I was in too much of a hurry. Just going with the adrenaline at this point. The momentum that I was carrying. So I wasn't thinking about strategically. <laughs> they can lift off some of their buildings. Not all. All their main objective buildings. The command center. The barracks. I heard a ghost. An engineering facility. Siege facility. There's no way they are using a nuclear missile for defense. I thought I heard the ghost scream too, so I think I did. That alarm it. sound went. Eh, eh, eh. So that's a satellite thing that scans. It sees the sparkles. There's got to be a nuclear silo up here somewhere. No, I don't think there ever was. Unless I killed it, my units killed it, and I wasn't paying attention to what my units were doing. Somewhere in that black shroud that I had. Earlier explored, I had three. I had three I bulls. Killed. Yeah, three ultralisks. Let's go full, full army. Something's on fire, it'll burn to death. Usually. Depending on how healthy it is, it'll take a while. So I lost one, I lost two. Three. I lost two and they lost the entire detachment. Lost four total. I lost three. They lost the entire detachment. I lost four lurkers. Let's end this. Oh yeah, let's end this. I need <laughs> to get to the tunnel. I can't. I have the one end of the tunnel right here, but I need another end. In order to get another end, I need uh you need creep. And the only way to start creep is I uh I know I stopped right mid sentence. I'm trying to think if I can make it happen. I do. I dragged the game out just to just show, to show you guys how awesome it is. I probably don't need to at this point nope. in time. I'm pretty much ahead. Yep. I create a, a position, a defensive position, so they can't come past me. And the guardians do advance. They only get so far before they get killed. There was no. I'll let them do whatever damage they're gonna do. It'll keep the enemies busy. There was no anti-air countering my guardians, but ideally, if the enemy had some anti-air, my guardians wouldn't have survived that long. At this point, they pretty much gave up. See that drone sitting there? He's just sitting there doing nothing. It's because they gave up. Spit! <laughs> I spit at you. And, oh, the so what I'm, oh, yeah, these guys, too? Oh, yeah, let's have fun with those. All you get from the in, uh, uh, infested command center is infested Terrans. They're basically land-based suicide units, but they do a whole lot of damage in one strike. One or two of them can destroy an entire building. One or two of them can take out half an army, depending on how close together the army is. So they're fun. Two infested Terrans will kill... Uh, a fully health, full healthy barracks. And remember the barracks at the beginning of the game I thought almost got killed and they managed to heal. So once that plants, I start getting creep, I'm going to get a tunnel. Two infested Terrans can destroy barracks. Lead us for the swarm. That's what he says. And he he burrows too. So I could burrow a suicidal Terran. <laughs> and when he comes up, 
on top of an army he instantly destroys. <laughs> awesome. It depends on how close the enemy units are together. Never even did explore the defiler, but at this point in the time, it's not needed. As like I said before, he does poison, and uh, he uh, does like some kind of a way net, like it's a net that slows the enemy down, like a sna uh, snare, I think, or this, um, and a poison cloud. Defiler is kind of an interesting, but he's not very useful in an all-out war. He can't do anything to actually strike. Do more bolusks, ultralisks. Nope, never mind. Eventually, I get twelve more ultra or six more ultralisks for a full army of twelve. I thought, unless I just keep those six, I thought I added six more. Yep, the Guardians are taking all the fun. Might get farther than I expected. I didn't know that these Guardians, they're called Guardians. I didn't know they would take all the fun. That's what they're doing. He's blind. That's a medic thing. Yeah, I mentioned that earlier. So the unit that's blind, he only sees immediately in front of him, like one tile away from him, where everybody else is like a range of 6 or 12 or whatever. Ha <laughs> ha. Once I took the money, once I took that base that helped was making the money, that's when they, right here, that was their fall. Once I took that, they had this established, but they didn't have enough, and they couldn't get their army. So despite the, well, it is because I cheated. Cheater. I wouldn't have been that successful on the <laughs> Counter-Strike initially, and then progressing after that if um, I didn't do the cheat, but... One of these days in the week is what or is, so, right? uh, maybe a month. I'll sh the next one I'll then do is Protoss. to show you the aspects, Devours. They're just anti-air. They fire purple acid at any air unit. So you saw earlier there was anti-air that fired missiles only at my air units, not the wraiths. These are the same as those. Everybody go. So, what is so special about this? So, I'll start him over here. Yep, it's finished. So, I'll select the tunnel. And then select over here. You'll see him Holding pop into the tunnel. You'll, you'll see him pop out over points. here. Boom, 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 boom. See how fast I travel across that map? Instead of going all the way around, I cut half the distance with that. Full invasion. All forces go. <laughs> all forces go. <laughs> I sent chills down my own back watching this. <laughs> I wish there was a way for the lurkers to be auto lur uh, auto burrow. Like the moment they're being attacked by something, drop below and automatically counter. But... I don't. There's no way to do that. You have to keep an eye on the lurkers, and I don't. I'll come back to them here in a moment. So. All forces go! All forces go! Ideally, if the base was fortified, you go in with the lurkers for uh, the ultralisk first, followed by lurkers, while also coming in with the uh, guardians, followed by mutalisks. But now, if you were, were Terran, crippled enough that I didn't matter. And you're in this said, base. You're thinking, I'm effed. Yep. So that is the elongated <laughs> Zerg that rush. final bunker. Those the failed attempt to hold Zerg your rush. ground, guys. We can't turn survival <laughs> mission. Turn. It's time to cheat and turn the tides. Turn Counter Strike. Turn full invasion of Zerg. <laughs> That's what that was. <laughs> oh, not quite. Oh, They're not all dead, but it's coming. So where are those? Right here, you. Ha ha. That C Terran command center had nowhere to go. 
It could have floated yep, across. You're going to move away and land it on the other side of that space. But by then, it was too late, and I'm sure the computer knew. Where are you going to go? He it's can't you got. land there because he's too close to the exo that uh, vast ping You're gas. dead. He had to be on the other side. And my Lord, Once that's dead, it creep. should end the game. I think. No, I have to, I have to also it. kill the transport. Kill the transport. That should do it for this game. So as this closes out, thank you all for stopping by, stepping in, sticking around. This is introduction to StarCraft. D-Man playing the Zerg. Attempted Zerg rush against the Terran. I'll come up with more StarCraft in the future. There's so many different ways you can play this game. These are all my stats. You guys wanted to check it over. Like, subscribe, follow for more. I play all kinds of games. Check me out on my Discord. I'll post that here as I'm talking about it. Thanks again for uh, watching the video. There's my Discord. If you guys want to follow that link, it'll be down below. Thanks again for stopping by, stepping in, sticking around. Daddy DMAN81 on YouTube. Like, subscribe, and follow for more. Thank you, Jesus, for your mercy and grace upon my life. I pray all those who see this reach out to you one day. Thank you to the game developers of these games and more for the products you make. Keep up the good work. Last but certainly not least, thank you to all my fans, friends, and followers for stepping in, sticking around, and checking out these games with me. God bless.